Alright, making a video, even though I really didn't want to make videos, um, but there was a couple of videos that really just need responses. So anyway, uh, first one on economics, so on the economic channel, and I'll try to be quick and brief and all that stuff. But what I would like somebody to do is somebody who is friends with the modern mystic or associates with him or can speak to him or can point him to something um, and who he will respect in some manner or other, please take these specific points and in some way transmit them to this gentleman and uh, ask him if he would be willing to provide a response to the basic points which are uh, the modern mystics are basically arguing it's going to crash and that's it uh, we don't have any other obligation so I would I would uh, say that something like you know your plane is broken the wing is falling off and everybody decides to just run into the tail, and nobody says, well, it can crash good, and it can crash bad. So I'm going to grab the wheel, and I'm going to try to bounce this fucker down. You know, I'm going to try to make it land on a marshmallow instead of a brick wall. And uh, so, yeah, let's have the modern mystic use his big giant brain to uh, give us some advice regarding what the right way to land a broken plane is. I mean, it really isn't that much trouble. You just, yeah, you just say, no point in sitting in the tail. You might as well try to save the fucker. You might as well try to skid it down. Well, anyway, getting to the point. So that's basically, his argument is, is there's nothing we can do, the end. There's a ton we can do. Depending on what we do, will completely depend. I mean, the difference is going to be maybe billions of people lives are in the balance. I, literally, billions of lives are in the balance, depending on what we do. There will be a difference of a billion people suffering if we go one way or we go another way. And this pretending that it doesn't matter is complete nonsense. Um, so anyway, uh, my argument is, is that the problem substantially is we have more IOUs written for not enough stuff. So there's IOUs saying we owe people holding the IOUs four pies and there's only two pies. So there's no way to pay them all back. And they're going to have a run on the bank because we're broke. We can't do it. And they're going to realize it eventually. And everybody's going to say, I want something. I want my pie now. Give me my pie. And there's not going to be enough pie around. So, uh, the point is, basically, I would argue, this is the part you can convey or whatever, is that uh, there's, two, there's going to be a, an event, and then there's going to be this idea that you either print money and destroy the currency, which will create preposterous inflation, which the rich can survive because they can just keep inflating their stock markets and inflating the value of everything, and the poor will not survive because their wages will remain pitifully low, and their ability to buy will be pitifully low and they'll just it'll be it'll be kings and peasants clearly um, the rich will survive the inflation the poor will be destroyed by the inflation uh, commodity prices will shoot through the roof uh, and uh, that's the way it's going to work so anybody with savings will gain huge and you know as long as they convert it into a commodity and uh, everybody else will die uh, the other scenario is you just say to the richest 5% of the world that uh, you go from 10 Mercedes to 5 Mercedes. You just cut them down a notch. You just say, no, we're not going to pay IOUs to rich people. That's just the way it is. We're in crisis. The boat's sinking. We're not going to save your velvet suit and your top hat. Fuck you. We're not going to keep it in the damn boat. We're throwing it out of the lifeboat. Okay, you can't keep your fucking gold-plated, I don't know, microwave coffee maker in our lifeboat, you idiots. It weighs 500 pounds. We're not going to die for your fucking coffee makers. Uh, whatever this, you know, analogy is. And that's all this takes, is that you knock them down a notch. It rebalances the debt equation. We don't have to destroy the currency, and we can live on. If we destroy the currency, you will destroy people. You will kill them, literally. And so we can't allow the governments to start printing money to pay off bondholders. 
it would it, it's it's insane policy it will kill people uh, it'll harm people dramatically and uh, not paying not giving the rich ownership title to all they think they own that was entirely made out of out of crap out of interest payments out of a declaration of ownership uh, if you were an owner in 1930 you had no chance essentially of losing your money of not becoming obscenely wealthy unless you were preposterously stupid uh, all you had to do was invest in the general stock market in a broad index of stocks and you could not possibly fail to become a billionaire that's the truth of the circumstance people didn't have to do any work they didn't have to earn it all they had to do was sit on the pile and watch it get bigger out of the accumulation of debt and this notion that I get richer because somebody borrowed money from somebody else uh, there's just been a huge tax and drain on our economy for decades uh, there's just no reason again to save you know their their you know 500 pound uh, 10 zillion dollar vinyl women and shit uh, you know their their penis enlarger <laughs> you know whatever there's just no fucking point in that uh, we're in crisis uh, huge huge stakes are at balance and uh, the modern mystic should have the balls to actually say what he thinks would be a good idea to save this plane to stop people's skin from getting burned off so quit being no, I might as well not say anything, but go ahead, convey the message. Uh, you don't have to put in the word coward and jackass. <laughs> yeah, take those out and just make the argument to him. Thank you very much. Until next time. I mean, really, this is just going to be so stupid. We are going to allow a billion people to suffer unnecessarily to satisfy the gluttony of a tiny percentage of the human race. I mean, on its, on its, it's just the stupidest movie ever written, and it, it can't, it can't, it can't, it can't form an opinion. Amazing.